Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to Cooking with Clifton, where today I'm going to be showing you how to make some fettuccine alfredo. And to start off, we're going to need a bag of Parmesan cheese, dropped haughtily to the counter, a carton of heavy whipping cream, dropped less haughtily because you're not entirely committed to this bit and you don't have any more heavy whipping cream, and a box of dry pasta, tossed carelessly to the side as we begin this journey together. And before we get into the nitty gritty bitty little bit bitty, bitty, bitty <laughs> and when you're making pasta, you should always, always, always salt your pasta water. Now, the phrase I've heard tossed around, you know, the, the culinary scene, mind you, is as salty as the sea. But just in case you're unfamiliar with the local ocean salinity, just, just chuck in three big, 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 big old pinches of salt. All right, that's you're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. That's good. And once the water hits a boil, we will begin to craft our sauce. But Clifton, you cry. What about the pasta? You haven't added the pasta to the water. Don't, don't trip, homie. I, we'll get back to that. I promise you. And for now, to craft our sauce, we will take our largest pan and add a bit of oil to it. I'm using canola oil. Any neutral oil is going to be fine for this. And then we'll add two large garlic cloves. And all right, hear me out. Don't yell at me. But I may or may not have made a little bit of a goof, a bit of an oopsie, if you will. So I, I, I just bought this garlic press, right, from Food Lion. It was like 15 bucks. And I was like, you know what? That's a pretty good – That I'll, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. What's the worst that could happen? So um, I, I was trying to crush my garlic, and – Instead, the press chose to crush itself. You can see the mangled remains here. Th the point is, my garlic got a little browned and a little toasty, which is not what I was going for, all right? So if you want to add garlic to your sauce, which I would definitely recommend, I would recommend only cooking it your garlic until fragrant, which only takes about 30 seconds. And before either of us forget, we're going to go ahead and add the pasta to our boiling water. Let it sit for a second. Reassure your pasta, tell the dry half that it can get in the water whenever it's ready, as long as it's comfortable, and then surprise by stirring it in with the rest of the pasta when it's not paying attention, just to assert your dominance. And back to our sauce, add a big pat of butter, which amounts to about two or three tablespoons. Stir till combined, and then add your Parmesan cheese. And now don't get angry at me. You're probably going to see this coming, but I may or may not have possibly made another teeny tiny a little eensy weensy mistake, okay? So I added the cheese, and then I walked away to get something, all right? I, I don't know what I was getting. I don't know why I walked away. And I wasn't away for long, maybe about 15, 20 seconds. But when I came back to stir, I, my sauce ended up being a little lumpier. Like, it wasn't super bad, but it was noticeable at the end product. Now, this doesn't have any effect on the taste or the quality of the food, but if, if you want that super smooth sauce... Don't walk away. Pour your cheese in gradually and stir as you go. Remember, do, do as I say, not as I do. You'll know the sauce is done when you can drag the spatula across the bottom of the pan, and it'll leave a clean line like this. And I personally like my pasta al dente, which, in my opinion, is the only way to cook pasta. But, you know, that's, that's just me. That's just me. So I let it cook for about seven minutes before adding it to the pan of sauce. Now, it's okay if you get a little bit of that pasta water in with your sauce. That's completely fine, my guy, or my friend, my acquaintance, my compatriot. That pasta water is actually going to help bind the sauce to your pasta, but don't go overboard with it. All right, watery pasta is going to make everyone sad. Nobody wants to drink fettuccine alfredo soup, believe me. Stir until thoroughly combined, and bada bing, bada boom, granny is your uncle. You've got quality, Olive Garden style fettuccine alfredo, all right? It's, it's literally as simple as that. It took three ingredients, and I, I priced it out. It was all under $10, right? I added a box of fettuccine pasta. That's about a pound of pasta, delicious sauce, all under 10 bucks. all right? You, you can't beat that price. And totally thought I recorded this, but somewhere between starting it and ending it, I forgot to press the record button. Anyways, I actually threw together some garlic butter broccoli. Now, it was super easy. 